Well, howdy there, Internet people. Let's bow again. So today we are going to talk about some completely predictable news dealing with the blurring of the footage. If you have missed it, the Speaker of the House, Johnson, he uh, he's trying to make good on his promise to release all of the footage. But he said that they would be blurring faces of some of the people in it and uh, that this was to protect them from retribution from... Uh, first, it was from the Department of Justice, and then later it changed to non-government actors. Um, in a completely foreseeable chain of events, Newsweek now has a report out saying that conservatives are turning against Johnson because he is blurring the faces of the feds. I feel like somebody said that was going to happen. So the whole thing behind releasing the footage was to placate people who believe a conspiracy theory. That was the whole reason for it. And they leaned into it, and it was supposed to be a promise that they were never going to actually fulfill, but there was so much pressure to do so, they felt like they had to. Now, because they're going to be blurring faces, it has fed into yet another conspiracy theory suggesting that they're trying to protect the identities of like undercover people who were actually responsible for what happened on the 6th. And, um, and that, that's what it's all about. Incidentally, that makes those Republicans who are on board with blurring the faces, that makes them part of the bad guys in this conspiracy theory now. At some point, the Republican Party is going to have to acknowledge what happened. Um, to me, yes, on some level, this is humorous because, I mean, how could you not see this coming? At the same time, it's, it's actually not funny because as time goes on, the longer these theories take hold, the further people fall down these echo chambers, the more they become isolated, the more likely they are to do something bad. The Republican Party is going to have to come out and say, yes, this is what happened. Yes, the people who were there who then ran for office as Republicans are in fact Republicans. They're not deep state operatives. Um, on one hand, I get it. It's funny, but the, there's an element of danger here because the Republican Party seems very unwilling to tell its base the truth. And, and the reason for that is because they have leaned into these conspiracy theories to keep their base motivated. And they, they don't want to lose that energy. But that energy is... That energy may be converted to something truly negative if the record isn't set straight. At some point the leadership of the Republican Party is going to have to admit what occurred. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.